What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel and check this out. I'm at my buddy Chad's new shop, Wheel Connection. Some people might remember he's the one who uh, put the wheels on for the F12 in his old shop. This is his new shop and this is actually where I'll be storing the Ferrari this winter. Check out his beautiful Ferrari 488 lowered. Got staggered wheels, 22s in the rear, 21s up front, just like I have on the F12. But we're here for a different reason today. This is kind of like, they're under construction, just moved in like two days ago. Very cool, got tons of wheels laying around here. This is Chad's business, this is what he does. Here's just a little amount of the wheels that he has in stock. And the reason that I'm here is because we're finally, maybe, hopefully, getting wheels for the AMG. Before we take a look at the AMG, check out Chad's new Daily Driver, Bentley Continental Throttle wheels. Beautiful interior. These things are amazing. Expensive, but this is, uh, this is ultra luxury. All right, so a Bentley in all honor. Uh, we gotta jump in Chad's like little beater, a wheeler as he calls it here. Cause we gotta go pick up tires. And he told me, and he's not kidding because Chad came from nothing. Now he's doing very well. He's like, you can crash my Ferrari and my Bentley at the same time, and I won't care. But if something happens to this truck, and he looked at me, he's like, do not crash this truck. Look at this thing. It's all rusty, ugly as hell. But apparently we gotta be really careful, and I really like Chad, so oh, look at that, it's a manual. <laughs> I didn't even know they made these in manuals, even back in the day. 195,000 miles on this thing. Man, these older trucks, they're so comfortable. They got big, like fluffy cloth seats. Five-speed manual, runs great, 195,000 miles on it. <laughs> Chad's owned this truck forever, over 20 years, and it's his baby, so he's like, be careful. Oh no, not the camera. Oh, I made it. it again all right so we've been at auto illusions picking up the tires for the new wheels that we're about to put on the c63 I'm super excited for this and the reason I'm so excited is because I've been waiting for wheels for a very long time for that car if you follow along uh, on the channel you probably know that because I've been talking about them for a long time and uh, it's obviously with my good friends at Bellis Design Works now there's been issues with uh, getting them here because of COVID and everything. It's not really on Velos. It's on another manufacturer that is out of the country. It's a long story short, it's just taking a long time. I, I think I'm still getting those wheels as well. But what happened was that I texted Chad yesterday and I uh, told him about this and he said, just stop by the shop, we'll see what we can do. Maybe we have something in stock that would fit your car. So I come down there today and I find some really nice wheels that I think are gonna look perfect on the car and they fit perfectly as well. So we're about to just install them. I didn't think that was gonna happen today, uh, which is why I just went and picked up the tires because Rich at Auto Solutions was supposed to uh, install the new wheels and tires that were supposedly on their way, but they're not uh, yet. So now we're going back to wheel connection. We're gonna wrap up the wheels in the new tires and put them on the car. And I, I can't wait to see what it looks like. This crash, by the way, happened right when I was going in the opposite direction, picking up the tires. I actually saw it, I didn't catch it on, on video, but everyone seems to be okay though, and that's what matters. But that big F350 dually just smacked right into that, I think it was a Subaru. That car was like annihilated. That Subaru decreased like half its size. All right, so we're back at Chad's shop. Let's check out these tires here. They are my favorite brand, the ones I had on the previous AMG as well. They're the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. And the size for the front tires are 245, 30, 20, and 285, 25, 20 in the rear. Now at least you guys know the size. So let's unload these, wrap them on the new wheels, put them on the car, and check them out. And check this out. Since I left and came back, all these wheels arrived. How many are these? Chad, what is this like? <laughs> Damn. That's a lot of that's a lot of wheels, man. These wheels look perfect. 
on his Bentley. I mean, that's such a good fit. Giovanna Monza wheels in matte black with a chrome lip, which normally I don't think I, I, I would like, but I love it on these wheels. I love the design and the chrome lip is gonna match that badge perfectly. So they're just mounting the tires on all the wheels now. We haven't really gotten them on the car yet, except for on this side. It's just hanging off of a stud here. And what's gonna be very interesting to see is once they're on and we lower the car down and the suspension settles, all this stuff, and it sits like it normally does, am I gonna need lowering springs for this car? I don't know, it's stock ride height, but uh, we'll find out here in just a few seconds. God, that looks so good already. Man, I love it. Dude, that is sick. What do you think, man? This looks good. Holy, and it's not even sitting on the ground. This is perfect. <laughs> all right, so all the wheels are on. We're gonna lower it, moment of truth, to see how it actually sits. Now look at Chad, he's putting tire shine on my wheels and everything. Perfect. Get the whole thing. Perfect. Like at least now looking through the camera, because of the chrome lift and the tires having tire shine on there, it almost looks like it doesn't even have tires. All right, so what do you guys think? I mean, it sits good. It's still a little high, I think, in my opinion. It doesn't look bad, but it could be a little lower. What do, you, what do you guys think? I think that once we back it up... I think you, you think it settled, hasn't settled I think it's completely settled. yet? Yeah. Yeah, but it's still not going to settle like three no. inches. No. Oh, but it looks so good though. God, that changes up the look of the car. These wheels are perfect for this car. Being a black car, matte black, got the chrome lip, chrome 63 badging right there. Dude, that is sick. It actually kind of brings back the look of the stock AMG wheels for my first one, the Hydrolock one that had the black forged wheels. They had a chrome lift as well. Yeah, it looks so beat from the rear now. The tire even slightly sticks out a little bit from the fender. Nice. So nice. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks so good. Dude, I love it. This might be my favorite wheel video that we've ever done. This is a perfect fit. Look at that. Ooh. All right, rev it. <laughs> Dude, that is so nice. Oh, dude, honestly, I think it looks killer. I'm so happy, man. I'm so happy. Dude, that looks sick. Chad is the man. I'm gonna link all his stuff in the description of this video. His Instagram is Wheel Connection. For anyone that lives in this area, I mean, he hooks you up. That is just the perfect wheel option for this car. Just enough contrast, you know? <laughs> And they were it's just laying around. Yeah. I'm like, those are nice. They're like, yeah, take them. <laughs> we always stock it, so, you know. Dude, sick. And look at that, it actually has settled. Yeah. At least an inch yeah. more than it did initially. You know what? I don't have to lower this car. It saves me some money. I think it sits perfectly. Maybe I'll change my mind in like a week or two, but at this time right now, 
It's, it's, it's great. I mean, we got a little gap here, but I think I can live with that. Wow. I'm in love with this car right now. So I guess that's probably gonna wrap it up for today's video. I absolutely love it. It's sick. <laughs> As you guys can see by the it's sick counter in the video. But honestly, uh, I mean, many times when I get very excited about, you know, modifications on my vehicles and stuff like that, people think I'm like faking it or whatever, but I'm not. I get really excited. And I think this is probably the best wheel setup I've done on any car uh, on the channel. You know, I love every wheel that we put on the trucks, the Ferrari, the other AMGs and so on. They look great. I'm super happy with them, but this, I don't know. It just, it just matches. I think it looks fantastic. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you like the wheels? Do you not like the wheels? Uh, how do you rate them in regards to the other cars that we've had on the channel? Let me know in the comments below. Also, huge thanks to uh, Wheel Connection. Chad and Eric and the guys over there, they're, they're great to deal with. So again, if you live in the area, definitely hit them up. I have their info in the description. The car is coming along for sure. I'm never selling this thing, never. It's just, it's, it's amazing. It has its little issues and stuff like that, but it's an amazing car. It's pure, it's raw. I love it. Uh, we got really crappy weather in PA right now, so the wheels are already dirty. But uh, yeah, I forgot to mention, by the way, they're rotary forged wheels. So again, they're the Giovanna Monza. They're 20s. They're 10 inches wide in the rear, 8 up front. So yeah. Here I am babbling again, but uh, I'm just standing here staring at this car. I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.